what is the mind's five-dimensional invisible hand and how is this used with creative visualization slash projection to transmit thoughts? To start with, any object in one dimension will cast a shadow beneath it in the next lower dimension. So, for the most obvious example, a three-dimensional sphere will cast as its shadow a two-dimensional circle. A three-dimensional cube will cast a square shadow, and so on. Just so, a two-dimensional shape will cast a one-dimensional shadow, and a four-dimensional form will cast a three-dimensional shadow. We measure the shadow of the fourth dimension by its effect on three-dimensional space as change over time. In other words, the shadow of four space is motion in three space, that is to say, time itself. Since Einstein, space-time has been understood as the three-dimensional shape of the present cosmos plus its one-directional past sum over histories, usually expressed these days as a light cone emanating from the Big Bang at the cone's tip and terminating in the relatively flat surface of our current universe at the cone's base. Hence, space-time as a whole is seen as four-dimensional. So, if everything up to the speed of light, and thus inside the borders of our local universe, is considered four space, then hyperspace, that field of faster than light, FTL, zero point energy, ZPE, beyond and underlying this, must be five dimensional. So, hyperspace is a five dimensional light source shining onto 4D space-time from outside it that causes space-time to cast the shadow of 1D motion into 3 space, etc. Classically, these 4th and 5th dimensional aspects of the electromagnetic spectrum were referred to as the illusory and impermanent lesser light below light speed, and the constant and unchanging greater light above light speed. So just as the aura of a person or any living being may be a toroidal field of electromagnetic energy surrounding their body, it becomes a unique soul as it develops its own patterns of this energy's ebbs and flows the motion of energy on the toroidal surface of the aura over time determines the nature of any person's soul given their extant karma, whether more good or evil. This motion of energy, the soul, is itself a one-directional shadow, time, cast onto a three-dimensional object, the aura, from a higher dimensional object in the fourth dimension, lit by the fifth dimensional greater light of hyperspace. This fourth spatial form that casts the shadow of motion onto the aura is called the Merkava in Kabbalah, describing the throne chariot of God. This four dimensional Merkava surrounds and animates the soul as the aura surrounds the living being's body. Just as the aura acts as a container for the mind while the being is alive, so, theoretically, the mind may be transferred as a soul into this Merkava vehicle and thus survive the death of its body. The mind itself although inhabiting a three-dimensional body as a four-dimensional soul, is thought to be of the same substance as the ZPE field of hyperspace, that is to say, 
the individual mind is thought to be comprised of the same substance as 5D hyperspace. Of course, this is merely a substantive similarity and not reflected in size scale. An individual mind, in its living aura, is like a thimble full of water, while the universal mind of hyperspace is like an ocean. Nevertheless, this leads to the creative visualization of the individual mind as being a five-dimensional hand, that is, an appendage on a higher-dimensional form of being. Thus, there are three regular polygons in two-space, and only three regular polytopes, platonic solids, in five dimensions and all above. This is because the pentagon is the largest 2D polygon, and this also explains why almost all animal species on Earth, even starfish, have five extremities at the ends of their primary appendages.